How long is a Section 60 in place for? So there are various periods set out in the guidance under Section 60 and there are also procedures for applying for an extension. It's a time-limited process. Yeah, how, how, time, how much time is the Section 60 in force? So I think it depends on the particular intelligence in the area. It, it has to be renewed. Uh, I think the time is 12 hours, but it has to be renewed on a proportionate basis when the intelligence is reviewed and clearly when the risk is no longer there then the but section 60 will no longer be there but it's not it's not 12 hours is it that's one of the new that's one of the new factors isn't it it's 24 hours isn't it oh forgive me 24 hours sorry i haven't i need another coffee okay and um it wasn't 12 hours prior to that was it minister it was 15 wasn't it yes yeah, so there's there've been changes so it wasn't 12 it was 15 and now it's 24. What happens if the police then apply to an inspector and seek an, seek, then seek an extension for a superintendent? What happens then? How far can it be extended? So there is another time period which i'm sure you've got in front of me uh, yep. which uh, and i'm which sure I you haven't. have too because you're uh, the mi well you're the minister who's been briefed for this i'm merely the journalist asking the questions well thank you so i put it to you again all oh, right okay so uh, needs obviously superintendent needs to authorize the extension and from what hours does it go from what to what to where what hours what are we talking about minister you're the uh, person who's briefed so you're talking about another extension period yes uh, Yes, yeah, so the point the point is that these are put in place in response to a specific threat. Yes, but what are the hour, what are the hours that a superintendent now can license? I think it's. 20... I don't think you know. No, I don't. No, I'm, I'm being quite upfront with you. I haven't got the paper in front of me. Forgive me. Do you not think you should know, Minister? Oh uh, well, I, I do know, but the the fact is, I. Oh had... well, if you do know, do share, do share. Then I'm so sorry. Uh, look, you're doing a very good job of, of uh, sh demonstrating that I haven't got the papers in front of me now, and uh, clearly. But you're, you're the minister who's put forward to do this. It's not like I've asked you questions about the Northern Ireland Protocol. Don't worry, that's still to come. Mm. Or questions about the price of fish and chips. I'm asking you about the thing that you've been sent out to do. And you don't know. Why should my listeners have confidence in this? Because uh, I am part of the government and the Home Secretary and the, and the policing minister, of course, who are putting these powers in place, listening okay, to the, the chief constables and what they've asked for. We we work with A our A section partners. 60 can be extended to 48 hours rather than the current 39. Let's just get that out of the way. Thank you. Is it necessary to, communi to communicate a section 60 to communities? So what we've done is we've made some changes to that. Uh, well, it's, it's a yes or no, Minister. Is it necessary to tell the community a Section 60 is to be imposed? So, no, at the moment, it, it is not necessary under these changes that we're making to Section 60. Uh, it, it may not be necessary, um, but I think it is... How very... will we know if this is successful, Minister? What, when will we see the results of this extension of Section 60? How will we know it's worked? We will need to look at the trends on the crime statistics as, as we always do. And you, you said earlier, actually, and you're right to say that we have seen an increase in arrests. Yes, you have. And yeah. we've seen knives taken off the streets. We've seen a, a, right, a, a fall in neighbourhood crime as a result of the beating crime plan that we've put forward across this government. But of course, we need to keep on reviewing this. This is an evolving threat. Patterns of crime are changing all the time. Our police officers are working really hard in those communities that are worst affected. And it's not just the policing response, it's the wider societal response as well that we need to put in place. Okay.